Geotag 2007 here with a supplemental geocache video that is not geocaching. Where's she at? She's back there somewhere. There she is. Carrying the Pomeranian because it can't walk on railroad tracks. It tries to jump from tie to tie because it thinks there's a space in between or something. I don't know. Or it doesn't, doesn't like stepping on rocks. Any case, this video is not going to be finding a geocache, but we're looking for prehistoric fossils called crinoids in a creek down here. Yes, I'm going to do a video on this. We have to walk these tracks a little ways down through here to get to where the creek is to where we search for our, our crinoids at. Where'd my dog go? Oh, there she Get up here. And seems like they've been doing a little, I don't know, some kind of construction or something. There's a big muddy trail down there where maybe they're extending the greenway in this area. I have no clue. But all I know is we can't walk down there. So when we get up here and if we can find some, I will put it on video for you to see. Right now we're just walking on the railroad. Oh, yeah, I know. Don't sing. It's terrible. I never make a living at it. Oh, yeah, we got cars to the left and the freeway to the right, so it's very noisy down here. All right, we are down by the creek. There's my honey coming down the hill. Carefully picking her way with the, well, the Pomeranian's off the leash now. He's going to go crazy. I don't remember it being this steep last time we were here, but the last time we was here was, well, 15 years ago or more. No, nah, we've been married almost 20. 22 years. Yeah, I know. That's how long it's been. Well, we came here what, when we were married, too. I think, I think so, at least once. I don't remember. That was so long ago. Now we're going to go down here to the creek because this is where the magic happens. This appears to be the end of a construction greenway thing. Apparently you come to this end and turn around and walk back. If it's going to actually come this far. I'm guessing they're going to build it. They're apparently laid groundwork for it. But down here is where the crinoids wash ashore. Yes, they wash ashore. And you pick through the rocks and you look and you look and you look and you just keep looking till you find one. That's the whole deal, the way this goes. This is true fossil hunting here. <laughs> you look. Might have been picked over. Yeah, but, but, well, maybe not. I saw a piece of an old jar. I guarantee you there's still jars in there. There's some fossils in that rock right there. Yep, fossils in the rock. We're not going to take the whole rock, though. And my dog goes waiting. Thank you, dog, for getting muddy. Dry your feet out now. Creek is definitely not up today, thank goodness. Sometimes you can actually spot them laying in the water right along. In. Ooh, I think I just found one. No, it's a rock. It had lines on it. It looked like a crinoid. Dang it! What? I thought I found one. <laughs> Would have been cool to find one while I was videoing. But yeah, they do tend to stand out a little better whenever you can actually spot them. Okay. If we spot one, we'll, we'll fire up the camera again and do a picture of it. This is what we're doing, though. We're walking along the creek looking. How long did you think we looked for? About a, about an hour? After much looking for about an hour or so, this 
This is our booty haul, which wasn't much. There you go. Apparently, uh, times have changed. This is the only intact piece of crinoid my wife found. Nice piece there. A couple of pieces right here. That would have been a big one if it had been whole. And possibly what kind of what kind of coral or that's horn coral. Corn corn coral. A round rock, not a musket ball. Notice the tip. And a piece of pottery, clay insulator, or ceramic insulator of some kind. Interesting piece. And that may be that may be a piece of coral. So after oh, another another small intact crinoid, kind of misshapen, but in any case, we used to come down here and within an hour we would probably have a good good handful of pieces of different varying sizes and stuff and this is a lot of squatting and looking very closely to find what we got here so apparently something has changed as far as the nature of the washing or it don't know but it just kind of disappointing that there just wasn't much there oh well that's the uh, Disappointment of archaeology and fossil hunting. Sometimes you find them, and apparently this time you don't. At least not very many. Okay. Flag 2007 out with the non-geocaching video for fossil hunting.